Hi, I'm Stephanie Alexander with Alexander Family Farms. We are organic A2 milk producers, and today we are going to learn how to make ricotta cheese. We're going to start with A2 organic milk. It's a 6% milk, and we're going to need one gallon of it. Now, if you don't have 6% milk, the ideal recipe is one gallon of whole milk plus one cup of cream, but our 6% gives us that extra butter fat. We need a third cup of organic vinegar, a teaspoon of salt, and I love Himalayan salt. We've got a fine ground Himalayan salt right here. A pan that we're gonna take that milk up to 180 degrees with my thermometer showing me the temperature. Cheesecloth, a colander, and a pot to catch the whey when we're ready to drain that whey out of the ricotta cheese. Let's get started making that cheese. The first part of the recipe is just the milk. We only want to cook the milk. We're not going to add the vinegar and the salt until the milk has come to temperature. So we continuously will store this as it comes to 180 degrees. We are really cooking this milk up. And what we're actually trying to do is denature the protein. That's why we want to get it to about 180 degrees. Denaturing causes that protein coil to unwind. And that's what relaxes it, releases it, and allows it to form a curd, which will be the ricotta. We are up to that between 180 and 200. In fact, I even got it closer to 200. So now we're going to remove it from the heat. And we're gonna add that a third a cup of vinegar while stirring. And we're gonna put that teaspoon of finely ground Himalayan salt while stirring. Turn my temperature off. And now we're gonna let it set for about two hours. It's gonna cool down on its own and it's gonna start to form that curd because we've brought it up to heat and denatured that protein. And now after sitting a couple hours, we have a curd. Look at those curds and whey. And I have a colander that is lined with the cheesecloth and I put it on a pot so it can catch the whey and I am gonna pour it in. I have poured it in and now we are going to wait for it to drip out. Those curds and whey. So some of the whey has left and so it's kind of getting thick, but I wanna rush it a little bit so what I have is some rubber bands here and I cleared an area in my kitchen under my cabinet and I'm gonna hang this like so. And now it's really gonna drip for us. And so I grab a rubber bands, put it around. I think I can do this well, create it tight enough. And now, let it drip. There you go, we'll wait a few hours now. I love the little indentions that the cheesecloth makes. And there's our ricotta. Beautiful ricotta.